Hey everyone, Nicole Young here, and I'm going to show you some of the new masking features inside of On One's Perfect Photo Suite 9. Now what they did was they removed Perfect Mask, which was a module in previous versions of the suite, and they integrated some of the tools into both Perfect Layers and Perfect Effects. Now this is a big deal because it allows you to do layer masking without having to jump around to different modules. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how these features can be used inside of Perfect Layers. First, I'm going to show you one of the new features, and it's a way to quickly mask out an isolated subject in a photograph. First, I select the Quick Mask brush over here on the left. Then I'm going to select this box tool at the top. Next, I'll drag a box over my image, and then I'm going to click the Return or Enter key. On one will do its magic and remove the background. It basically goes through and looks at what I drew the box around and then determines what the background is versus what the subject is. And then after you create your initial mask, all you have to do is go in and just refine it. So for this example, you could zoom in and select one of the tools over on the left, maybe the perfect brush, and then just drag around to remove the remaining bits of that. But I'll go ahead and show you how to do that refinement in another example here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to my other image and I'll show you the other way that you can use the quick mask brush. So I'll go ahead and make sure that I have that quick mask selected. And instead of selecting that box at the top, I'm going to drag kind of a swirly, lazy kind of a loop inside of my image. And then on one's going to go through and analyze what I was actually painting over and kind of know that that's the background I want to remove. And then it will go through the image, find those colors and remove them. So now I have a really good start to this masking job, but I always find it easier to work with an actual image in the background instead of just this checkerboard. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to my images. I'm going to hold command and the left arrow key, and that will reveal that left side panel. And then I'll scroll down and I have some sky images here, some clouds that I'd like to kind of play with with this image. I'll select this sky, I'm going to double click it, and then I want to choose add as a layer, and then click OK. The first thing I'm going to do is drag it behind my image in the layers panel, and then I'll go over and select the transform tool. Now I'm going to transform it and enlarge it by holding that shift key to keep it proportional, and then dragging it out. And I can do the same thing on the other side. Then I'll just move it around to find a really good position for that sky. And that's a good spot. When I'm done, I click apply. Now I need to make sure that I click back on that top layer because that's the layer that I'm actually going to be masking. Now I'm going to zoom into 100% and I'll use the navigator panel to kind of drag over to some of these areas that need a little bit more refinement. Now I have a large area of sky here that still needs a little bit of masking done to it. So I'm going to use those refinement tools to kind of finish this mask. I'm going to start off by using the masking, the standard masking brush, but I'm going to check that perfect brush at the top. What the perfect brush does is it takes the color from whatever the center of the cursor is and removes or adds a mask. In this case, I'm painting out. So if I click and drag, it's going to remove only that color, even if other parts of the cursor kind of get in that actual scene there. I'm also going to hold down the command or control key as I'm painting over this, which locks that initial sampling color so that I'm only going to be removing that blue sky from the background. Now, if you look closely, you can see that there's a little bit of a halo around some of this edge here. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see it more clearly. Now the best tool to remove this is the chisel tool. So I'll go ahead and select it from the toolbar. I'm going to reduce the brush size real quickly using the left bracket key. And then I'm going to paint over that edge. And what it does is it chisels away about a one pixel amount of that mask. And I can continue doing this along other parts of the image as well. You can see it's kind of removing some areas that I don't want it to. And if I wanted to fix that, I would actually go back to my brush tool. I would select paint in and let's see if this does that job. And it sure does. 
kind of getting some of that background. So I'll just kind of go back and forth. I hit that X key to change it back to the paint out mode. I'm holding that command or control key as I'm painting as well. Okay, so I would basically just continue that process uh, throughout this entire sign area to remove all of those edges with the chisel tool. And then I jump over to that perfect brush as needed. But what I want to do is I want to focus on the bottom parts where there is a little bit of difficult masking that needs to be done. But the tools inside of the On1 software suite uh, do a pretty good job. I'm actually going to go ahead and start out with the refine brush. So I'll go ahead and click it over here in the toolbar. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint over the area that I want to refine. And you can see that it did a pretty good job initially, but there is a little bit of a halo there. Now I could try a few different things. I could try working with the masking brush and that perfect mask. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do here is continue with the refine brush, but I'm going to check that color decontamination box at the top. Now I'll go ahead and paint back over those areas. I'll just do it in batches this time. And you can see it refines it even more and it, it does a great job of really blending those colors together. Now the color decontamination feature is a really good thing to use for instances like this. But do keep in mind that it is a destructive feature, so it's going to actually affect the pixels in your image. Um, it's not really a big deal though if you're working on an image where you're going to replace the sky. If you're not going to go back to it afterwards, then you don't really have to worry about it. So I would just then continue through here and refine all of those areas as needed. You can see that I kind of uh, over masked this area. So I'll go back to my brush, uncheck that perfect brush, bring that size down, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more as well. And now I'll hit the X key to make sure that I'm painting in. And then I would just paint some of these areas back. I could even check that perfect brush if I wanted to, to see if that would kind of help keep those uh, lines together. And then I would just continue going through the entire image and finding all of those little areas that need to be removed. 